This video, we thought we'd give you a little bit of behind the scenes look at what it's like to be full-time RVers. Um, we kind of call ourselves that this time of the year because we're going to be in the trailer for the next six months and we're going to be living in it just like anybody else would in a full time. We have no opportunity to go back to our house until we're done with this trip in May. So today is a travel day and we are getting packed up and ready to go. And we thought we'd share with you a little bit of what we each do on a travel day. You know, starting with Diane, managing the inside of the trailer and getting that ready to go. And then I do the outside of the trailer. On travel days, I have several different things that I do to get the trailer ready to go. The first thing I will do is clean off and put away all whatever I have out, including anything I have in the bedroom that's on top of the little dresser there. I put everything away um, for the shower. I will, of course, wipe it out and then make sure the light is off and the door is locked. Um, we usually travel with all the blinds and the curtains closed, no particular reason. I make sure the heat or the heat pump or the furnace is off, the hot water is off. Um, what else? Make sure the refrigerator is switched over to propane. Uh, I usually take this time to wipe the counters down with a Clorox disinfecting wipe. Only that's really the only chance I get to do them when they're cleaned off. And uh, make sure everything's put away. Anything we might have out, our sandwich maker, put anything loose like our, our soda cans, anything on this counter away. I make sure all the dishes are washed. Everything is kind of straightened up. My everyday routine with the two dogs includes cleaning off the runners. And I have to say, these runners definitely help to keep the floor clean. This is our second set only because we've switched colors in the trailer. I do travel with two, only two plants my cactus, my um, Christmas cactus, and this, believe it or not, is a little poinsettia plant, which I bought last Christmas at Home Depot for, I think it was $3. So, and actually, it's, it has survived this long, and if you look, it has some red leaves coming. So, no special care, just water and put it in the sunshine. Another thing we do is make sure all the windows are closed, that they're locked for travel. I do have stuff up on the shelf here that will usually tip over when we're driving, but nothing gets damaged. We still have our little bear, which we have to find some place to donate that to. We got that at the Vermont Bear Company when we visited Vermont during the summer. The dogs always ride in the truck with us. I can't imagine anybody allowing their animals to ride in their trailer, but yeah, they ride in the truck with us. See, one thing we did in our bathroom is we got these nifty containers from the container store and they have like command strips on them and they stick right to the, the metal wall there. Yeah, which makes it, you know, for all your whatever products you have that you use. Do you leave uh, everything right in there? Yeah. Oh. I do. And then for a while, I think since we got the Airstream, we got these little nifty um, tooth toothbrush holders. And then we pick that up for our toothpaste uh, camping world. And I think, yeah, that's one thing that we added this trip because in our area we don't have container stores so that was a nice little feature 
If you ever have the opportunity to go to the container store, I would highly recommend it. They have lots and lots of stuff. And they do have an online store if you don't happen to live in the area. While Diane's getting the inside of the trailer ready, I focus on the outside. So I put away everything that's out here. I've already put the chairs away. I've got to do the rugs. I will get the awning latch, latch down, pick up anything that we have outside. Um, because we weren't on this site for the full week, I haven't gotten everything out, so I don't have the grill and things like that. And a lot of times I might do that the night before anyways. But I've got to tie down the awning. I've got to pick up the rug, um, hitch up the trailer, you know, do all the jacks and all that stuff. So I've got a, a few things to do. Also have to disconnect the water and the electric on the, on the trailer and get that stuff ready to go. So I'm going to work on that and have you just kind of follow along. We'll start with the awning and then we'll work on the jacks and such and get that stuff picked up. Usually the last thing I do is the rugs because the dogs are out and they like to lay on it. And I would rather have them lay on the rug than in a lot of campsites, you know, that's dirt and, and such or grass and something. I don't want them to get as as dirty as I as they can or I just don't want them to get dirty in the in the, in the dirt and such because they just track that into the trailer and the truck and everything while we go. One of the last things I do is disconnect electricity, especially now because Diane's running the air conditioner because it's getting a little warm in there. The sun's heating up the the trailer through the windows. So the next thing to do will be to get the trailer ready to be hitched. And I start with the X chocks and remove them, and then I will raise all the stabilizer jacks and that gets the trailer ready so I can then raise it up and down. I'll bring the truck in, hitch it up, and check all the lights and everything. And by that time, I'm pretty much ready on the outside, except for the electricity and the Anderson blocks. One of the last things I gotta do is take the leveling blocks out from underneath the wheels and store them in the back of the trailer. So I'll do that now, check to make sure everything's locked up, and we're ready to go. Part of the behind the scenes stuff, we gotta have to stop at the dump station on our way out. So we're doing that next. We'll spare you the gory details. This is where it's good you don't have smell of vision. One of the things I would do while I'm waiting for everything to dump out is I'll take a walk around the trailer, make sure it's set. But first I'm going to hook up the water so that it starts flushing the black tank out. Windows are all... Windows are all locked. Doors are locked. So it's just a matter of finishing this and then we'll be on our way. All set to go. Once again, while Diane's doing the inside, I will work on the outside and get everything set up. We've already got the dogs out and on their uh, leashes, so we'll get this place looking like a campsite. <laughs> 